hi everybody this is pramita here and this is my june journal uh, i am going to do a journal with me sort of uh, video today i'm going to film this i don't know how successful i'm going to be because most of the journal with me's have been a bit of a disaster so so here is my um, prima watercolor this is the classic palette and I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of watercolor, uh, water, sorry, so that I can put down a few splotches on my pages. Yeah, so that's that. And I am not using ton of colors, as you can see. I would like to go with this color and put down a little bit on the page perhaps I don't know how well the um, page will take color I'm just adding a little bit of water over here I don't want to use too much of water so I'm just using uh, some spots randomly just um, I'm not sure how I'm going to layer things up but let me see um, so it's just some splotches of color here and there not much And while I let this dry a while, I'm going to look through my paper stash and see what would work best on this page. So that's that. Let me put this aside and let it dry a while. So I am going to go into my paper stash. I'm sorry. <laughs> my blue stick has fallen off. So. Got it. So uh, I'm going through my paper stash basically and uh, looking for pieces which would work. So I am going to go through this bunch. Okay. And I can use a little bit of craft paper perhaps. Okay, so I have a few stuff over here which I can use. This is fairly dry, a little bit wet on this side, so it doesn't matter. So I can use a little bit of craft paper as the background. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I, this is a huge mess. Like working with... So once again, I'm tearing off papers. This was a packaging, I think, from London Gifties. And I use a ton of packaging in my journals. Um, I will also use some other stuff like book pages and some random items. So I'm going to put this over here, maybe. And I'm going to go through my book page stash. So I can put this over here. And I can work with some other stuff. I can put in a little bit of writing script sort of thing. Uh, let me go through this. So I can use this Chinese text that I have. Maybe. So I can take some page off from here um, this is a booklet of random vintagey kind of papers from London gifties and I kind of like it a lot because uh, it gives sometimes when you buy papers from shops like this it gives you a kind of variety so I might put it like so but I need a little bit of color on the page. So I'm 
might add this napkin. Let me go through this. So I can put a little bit of napkin out here or here perhaps. So let me glue these down first and then we'll work on that. So today is the 1st of June. Unbelievable because uh, these months have been flying, flying like the days are passing so quickly. Once again, I try to keep the edges um, a little bit without glue because I might put something or tuck something in and I can put this or I can put it like this okay but before that I need to put something I think I need to put this okay I'm not using the book page right now I'm using this this is from my book illustrations I think this is a um, book on woodlands uh, of the United Kingdom I'm not sure because I have gutted that book to its extreme limits and I'm going to use this napkin a little bit now I don't use decoupage to use napkins in my journals I did talk about this before and I'm going to take the backing off I think I did take the backing off I am not sure sorry I'm just bumping against the camera yeah so I have the backing off and I don't want a whole lot so I can choose to use a little bit from here so I'm going to snip this off very uh, randomly and I will just glue this part up okay I love this napkin a lot I got this in a happy mail I don't remember from whom but it's so pretty um, can't say uh, so I can put it something of that sort like here so I can stick it around this place see how it's becoming a lot brighter already so I'm going to stick this I'm going to stick this. I know some of you might be horrified at how I use the napkins, but that's how I work. Uh, I try to simplify a lot of things because I'm not decoupaging this or trying to make it waterproof or anything of that sort. It's just going to go into my journal. So I'm going to glue this part up. And done so I'm going to prep the page and then come back and show you the next day how I have journaled I mean I'm trying to do this regularly I don't know how regular that will be so this is going to be this page and I am going to use this or I can do one thing I can just paint this page a little bit you know that sounds so terrible but that's how I am so I'm going to use a little bit of watercolor on this I'm going to use this yellow little bit and the green So it can be like so and I can just stick it around this area. So this is just to give it a little bit of, so I can tuck this around this area. Okay. And 
trying to put this over here. Yeah. So I'm going to glue this part up and use it as a background sort of thing. Now the page is looking a little bit brighter and I'm going to put this down and I'm going to glue this part up. So, okay. So that's how the page is looking. Just a few things here and there. And I want to put down some word stickers maybe over here. And the date will come later on, of course, once I journal on it. So for the word stickers, I'm going to dig into my stash and bring out some stuff. So let me show you my stash. So I have a few things over here. Some die cuts, some stickers, some post-its and stuff like that. So I can use them. So maybe I'll go with this sticker sheet I have. This is from the Simple Stories. And I think I can use something from here. Let me go through this. And... Okay, so this is actually planner stickers. Uh, you were made to shine girls so I can use this because June is my birth month and I want to you know put in a lot of positive quotes sort of thing so over here I have this done and now I can go back and add a few stickers I can use some washi and I'll show you how I do that. So this is a washi booklet sort of thing from Pink Paisley. This is the Moonstruck collection. And I am going to use some washi. I think I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm using up these washi booklet kind of things because they are extremely suitable for your on-the-go journaling kind of thing. And... This is how I put my washi and a little bit from here. Uh, I rarely use a scissors, basically a pair of scissors. I mostly try to tear things up by hand. And I like the effect more than the scissors get actually. And now I can use some sticker stuff that I have. So now I can use some stickers like, like so. So I have these girl stickers from an Etsy shop. Uh, I think it's called Paper Plus Cloth. And I use them sometimes, most of the times, as you can see. I can use it like so. So I'm going to use this over here. Maybe it's a tad bigger than I would like. But then it's okay. I can make this work. So I'm going to use this over here and cover up the empty space. And if I need extra space, of course, I can always use a tip-in or something, something extra, like an envelope, you know. And... That's that. And I'm going to add this on this side. So that's how my pages are looking. And I think it's looking pretty good. As you can see, it takes only 10 to 15 minutes if you have all your supplies at hand. And I'll come back and show you how I have journaled for the first day when I will prep my pages for 2nd June. So bye now. See you soon.